So in today's Minecraft Sword Let's Play, we go back to the kingdom and essentially work with some new nether block updates into the enchantment room. It's a pretty cool episode, so make sure you go ahead and watch until the end. I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you're watching my videos, make sure to turn it this way. Click that subscribe button and the notification bell, and if you go back to watching the videos, I'd really, really appreciate if you could do that. Let's see if we can reach 10 likes in today's video. And without further ado, check out this random funny video. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Sword Let's Play. Now, I need you guys to take a quick look at something. Check it out. You see how my armor is all enchanted, right? What do you think is wrong with my current armor right now, right? It doesn't look enchanted. This is so weird. I just noticed in the comment section that someone mentioned that. Why is my armor not enchanted when it actually is all enchanted? I was very confused by that. Look, even if I put my armor back on now, it doesn't change. But look, you see where the handle is, where the shield it looks like that's enchanted and that makes no sense i really don't know what's going on it could honestly be the newest snapshot it, there could be a bug in it so you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys been hearing about it but yeah my swords are all enchanted even my tools and items so i really couldn't tell you guys why the heck that's happening but yeah that, that's just that so today we have a lot of things to do one thing i want to show you guys is check out this little farm i was working on so in the last episode we went into the nether and i showed you guys the area that i want to kind of make a farm it's pretty simple all I did was just plot a lot of seeds and make a simple path going straight through the middle. Um, nothing too crazy, as you can tell, besides the golems coming over here and ruining it, everything. I'm still going to have to add a lot more to this. We might even get to the end of the episode and add a few extra things. Now, the main thing about today's episode is the new enchantment room. Now, this is something that I am extremely excited to work on, especially because we have some new blocks to work with, especially from the nether. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Now, check it out. You guys are probably wondering, why the heck did we move the enchantment? room from the uh the campsite which really wasn't an enchantment room it was just a random area i place it down and while we're moving into the kingdom obviously as you guys can tell recent trend i want to work more with the kingdom and really make it into a thriving uh small town essentially so i figured i wanted to make this right here the enchantment room it was a natural hill i didn't do anything and i decided to just add some stone blocks uh coarse dirt gravel whatever other items around here not gravel but uh a cobblestone smooth stone cracked stone mossy stone and all that good stuff and i just kind of layered it all the way around the top that's how it looks from the outside there's still a few things that i want to do uh, but in Inside, check it out, guys. We have some items from the nether. I'm really excited with the way this inside looks. Now, I wanted to make it look as crazy as possible inside. So what we're working with is stripped crimson stem. We also have warped stairs. We have warped planks and crimson planks. And there's a few other items that you guys are going to see as to why I have them in the chest over there. So we're going to break the centerpiece. That's where the enchantment table is going to go. And I want to place just that one piece in the center like that. And now we're going to place our enchantment table right in the center like so. The next thing we need to do is we're just literally going to place, this is called a uh, stripped crimson stem. Essentially, it's like wood. It, it literally works like bark. So you can use your axe and strip it. And it's it looks absolutely awesome. And let me know in the comment section what you think about this design. But I really do want it to look absolutely like as crazy as possible colorful everything because essentially it is a, a a mystical look in place you know so let's go and add the last piece like that perfect so it already looks a million times better the final thing that we need to also do is add the bookshelves there we go check that out now is it raining of oh, of course all right thank you villager uh wait what do what do you still yeah fortune two still selling the good stuff okay and now a lot of you were saying why don't we make any more librarians that way we can get potentially mending now there's a reason why i have a lectern which is going to be in the enchantment room so that hopefully one of the villagers picks up his brand new job uh by the end of this episode if not essentially soon enough we'll have ourselves a new villager what was that sound Something definitely just died there. I don't know what it was. Uh, we still have to take out the bottom floor there. Now, the lectern, I want to put it like... I was thinking of putting it up in the front, but I'd rather have it on the side and make a sm small little room right here, um, essentially where the lectern is going to go into. So we just have to get rid of the dirt and not using the shovel. That's the first thing we need to do. Get rid of the dirt, and then we're going to use the crimson planks and just simply place them like that. Same with the top part here. 
Obviously that top area, we're gonna fix it, but I want to have ourselves using, oh wait, hold on, we'll just do this. And then we're gonna have the stairs. These are the warped stairs and they're going to go like that. And we're gonna have the lectern right in the middle over there, which I think looks really, really good. So the next thing I need to do is also we have some shroom light. Now this is something that I'm really excited to work with because this block really does look mystical in my opinion. So we're gonna put a fence hanging from the top there and then we have the shroom light. <laughs> it looks absolutely, and it makes such a weird sound. Listen to it. Let's just put one right in this corner. You hear the sound? It sounds absolutely great. I just love the sound of it. Now, this block here, I don't think there's anything above it. Neither with these. So we can get rid of those. And we can add one more right there. I just love the sound of it. Now, this already looks absolutely awesome, especially for an enchantment room. Um, let's go ahead and add these stairs going right across here. Perfect. And then we have to add them on this side. We've got to get rid of this dirt. That's definitely not going to work with our design here. So we have stripped crimson. I want to use a little bit of stripped crimson as well on the sides. So this is going to be the main entrance. So we might as well use the rest of it. That looks absolutely great. So as you walk in, it just looks crazy. You know, that's the whole point of it. Um, now this flooring here, I just realized we completely forgot about that. Hopefully we have enough items for it. I don't know if we do. Let's go check the chest outside. Yeah, we actually don't have any more. Obviously, I haven't been in the nether for too long, but I just got enough supplies. Let's just do this for now. I don't think anyone's going to notice. Uh, let's go ahead and place... Let's just go and place one of the warped ones right in the center, <laughs> and then one of those there. This will be a secret between you guys. We'll fix it. Don't worry, but I think that looks perfect. You guys won't even see it from there, so it's not the end of the world. All right, so we have some more lapis in here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that we potentially need. I'll grab some more books. Why the heck not? And do we have any lanterns left over? We do not right now. Okay, we do have some protection. You know what? We'll put those pants into a frame. I think that would be perfect. Anything in here? Oh, yeah. Wait, we do have more blocks. Okay, perfect. So we'll grab a few more from here. We do have the ancient debris, which we're not going to do anything with that yet. I want to do a crazy episode in the next episode with the ancient debris. So just stay tuned for all of that. All right, so we're finally back. Let's see if we can go ahead and add some enchants to our books here and see if there's anything decent. Now, of course, we don't have the best XP right now, but we can easily just do some basic ones like protection one, uh, a few other random ones. This is efficiency two, smite one. We'll just do efficiency two. We'll have a few books essentially lying around here. Uh, I want to put some frames. So we're going to just toss a few items on the, sh the walls over here. So this one, we will put our, let's see what we got here. This is the, what is this? This is the protection one book. I'm going to place that over there. We'll get another frame. Where the where are the rest of the frames? There we go. We'll place one of them on the top por portion right there. So we have ourselves the efficiency two. We'll place that right in there. So it already looks really cool. So I, I like that a lot. Now, I do also have a cauldron, but let me fix the flooring that I wanted to fix here. So let's just go get rid of this. Put that over there. Oh, wait, we have to strip it too. And there we go. Get rid of this piece. I'm pretty sure we have some... Oh, wait, we don't have enough crimson... Oh, great. Okay, so we're just going to have to leave this floor like that just for now. Okay, guys? That's just between you and I, okay? <laughs> all right, that's fine. It, it, it does the job for now. Um, all right, so let's add a few more frames. I want to add one frame over here with the leggings because it is, like, looking really cool. It has a nice look to it. Purple matches the room, matches the theme. Now, there's a few more that I want to add over here. So let's do some random enchants. You guys are probably like, why is he doing all these random enchants? Well, you know what? It's honestly books that we might not never use, and we have so much more XP that we can get in the future, and we'll do some unbreaking on that perfect let's place those in here and maybe you never know maybe we'll come back and um, have some better books on the walls eventually but yeah i'm really liking this whole design so far now the final thing i want to do is add the cauldron on one of these random sides it just honestly it's all about the look it's not really for anything for use wise but let's go ahead and get rid of this dirt here we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side we're gonna add that there add the flooring like this Add our uh, cauldron, put a bucket of water in there, and that looks absolutely awesome. I like that. Okay, we're going to get rid of the dirt here, and we're going to place some cobbles, some mossy cobblestone, and then we can add a little bit more leaves around here like that. Leaves honestly make a room like look a lot more complete in my opinion. Um, let's see if we can add maybe one in that corner. We can add maybe a few more coming down from here. Maybe one more from the centerpiece like that. And let's see, did I just hear a cat? I'm pretty sure I just heard a random cat. Okay, let's just put those like that. Okay, 
looking so much better. Now, this is honestly, I think what I want to leave it. I don't think I want to change any more because I want the ceiling to still feel like it's part of like a little hole. You know, I don't want to make it look all crazy, but I'm really happy with the design so far. I'm going to get rid of these blocks here and let's go grab the rest of the warped. Uh, what's it? I keep forgetting the warped stem. Place that in the middle. Break those. And then for now, we're just going to have those blocks in the corner. And that looks absolutely perfect. Now, I do want to add a door. So I think I have a few doors over here. I don't. Oh, yeah, there they are. We have a few doors. I'm going to put the door like this so that from the inside, you can't really you can't really tell what's inside there until you walk in. And this room just honestly looks so good. So uh, a few other things that I want to do is to work a little bit on the outside, add a few other details. So I'm going to take care of that right now. I think I have a little bit of bone meal. Uh, should be inside here. There we go. This is from all of our <laughs> the skeleton farm. So what I want to do is add a grass growing on the top of here. That honestly just makes everything look a little bit more natural. So we're just going to keep finding all the grass blocks that are still around here um, and just adding as much bone meal as possible around here just to kind of make it look overgrown. Uh, that's honestly one of the nicest things I think that will go for this as an aesthetic for the outside. So let's see so far how we're doing. Let's add a little bit more around here right around here let's keep adding them let's go bone meal crazy essentially and even in this corner a little bit all right so add a little bit there's still a few spots oh we don't want this showing so we're gonna put some cobblestone or some mossy stone there um perfect i think that covers all of the spots besides those spots there and a few other spots here perfect okay that looks really good now check it out from a distance that looks a hundred times better. Literally, all I did was just go crazy with bone meal. Um, it's turning night again, so let's go ahead and borrow the, the villager's bed once again. All right, so that right there is awesome. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Now, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. I would like to add some lanterns, but I also want to add a few other things like shroom. The shroom light, we could add around here. We could make it look kind of interesting. Like, on the top over here... Oh, wait, the villager's coming over here. Yes, you see, you have a new workstation, my guy. This will look, it look, it definitely looks a lot better. I know it's a hole, but, but it does look a lot better. Now, I do want to fix some of the things inside here. Uh, where is the rest of the course dirt? Do we not? Is it all inside here? Hold on. Instead, let's actually grab some mossy cobblestone. We'll get rid of this because this entrance here is just definitely does not suit the look. So we're going to have some random uh, mossy stone like that put one on the top piece right there hopefully he goes inside because there's definitely a lot to, for him to go and check out in there we have some crack stone we'll add those inside here like this so that as you walk in you have somewhat of a cool looking entrance now i believe i have a few yeah we have some andesite stairs which i want to use this mainly to make it look somewhat like this check it out all right we'll just do a little bit here and then in the center we can make ourselves a few stone slabs like this some andesite stone slabs toss out the extra so our inventory is absolutely full and we can go ahead and add a few of the andesite slabs sticking out like that we could add a few more on the inside all right and last but not least we i would like to have a lantern hanging from here but right now i'm happy with the way it looks uh one more thing i want to do is just add a little bit more of the bone meal but there is some oak leaves that i would like to add around here too just a little bit more for some uh detail just going around uh random spots obviously so there isn't really a specific area that i'm placing these in you guys can just if you're trying to do something very similar it's just all about having some random spots all the way around your base um, that way it just kind of looks nice random leave spots like that. Okay. We'll put one more over here Put one right there and that should be enough. I think let's go do that there Let's grab our shovel make it a little bit more uh, beat up around the paths here like this Perfect. That right there, guys, is an amazing looking place. I'm really, really happy with this. Now, right here, we do have the potion uh, village house, and this is going to have a major uh, revamp, something that's going to look similar to this so it blends in. All right, so yeah, we're done with the enchantment room. Uh, we're going to go over now to the farm. I, like I said, at the end of the episode, I wanted to have a few more things done to this farm, like one of which is getting rid of this right here. We do not need that there, but I'll take care of that off screen, but I do want to add a few items around here. Now, I think I have a few lanterns hanging around here we do have a lot of diamonds how's it going hunter um let's see you know what i want to do let's go ahead and change hunter's uh color let's do it yellow i think yellow would look pretty cool for hunter so let's go ahead and do that right now oh that looks actually really cool 
I like that collar on Hunter. I think yellow is is perfect. I know a lot of you guys were saying in the comment sections to have a collar for Hunter. Um, yeah, so that's that's just a big improvement right off the bat. So I'm trying to figure out where I have the rest of my lanterns. So let's go see if I can find them. All right, it looks like we're completely missing uh, lanterns. So we're going to have to make a few right now. So we're just going to, you know what? We're going to use all of that. Why the heck not? 36. All right, that's not too bad. I went through a lot of lanterns in this world. That is pretty crazy. Um, all right, so the reason why I want to grab the lanterns is because I want to have some light posts coming out from here um, from the farm. So we're going to add a random light post and then we're going to add a scarecrow potentially and also a few other things. So just make sure you watch until the end. So we're going to grab our fence post and we're just gonna block up to the top let's see if we can grab um we'll just use spruce for now because i forgot all the dirt so let's go ahead and use spruce to go up to the top now a lot of you guys are saying use scaffolding of course i want to use scaffolding the only problem is i do not have a bamboo area right now i have to find that so that's gonna have to happen in the next few episodes hopefully so let's go ahead hang our lantern from the top very simple look we're gonna do the same thing on this side right here so we're just going to put a few fence posts. Uh, let's break this block, build up a little bit, add a few fence posts going high up. Let's see. We have to make this even. So I think that right there going across is too low. So we'll remove this piece and we'll build it up one more and perfect. So let's go back down right there. Perfect. That looks already a million times better. Just a few little details across in the farm just makes everything just look a million times better. So the next thing I want to do quickly is to add ourselves a scarecrow and a wheelbarrow. You guys are going to see how those two things are going to look in just a second. All right, so I gathered a few materials and check it out, guys. We have a baby villager walking around here. Let's see. Can he pick a job? I don't think he... Uh, where are you going, dude? <laughs> so let's go over to the farm to finish up a few things. Now, we have a few pumpkins that we need to first uh, carve. So let's go ahead and carve those and then actually take the pumpkins and we're going to use them, as you guys can guess, for the Scarecrow. Um, this is going to look absolutely awesome. I think you guys have seen this design a few times. It's been done before. So let's place one there. Let's put one pumpkin head on that Scarecrow. And then we'll place another Scarecrow right over here. Let's just jump on this. Place the stand. Perfect. Add the pumpkin. Now, oh, I'm messing up the farm here. Now, we also need... To, the villager looks hilarious. Um, now, we also have to have a few leather tunics. So, we only can make... Okay, we have enough for two, which is perfect. Because we don't have a lot of cows. We have to expand our farm. There's only a little bit of cows left around here. So, not good for us. Uh, let's go ahead and put the leather tunics. And there you go. That is the scarecrow so far for the farm I think that looks absolutely perfect in my opinion uh, now the final thing is also to make a wheelbarrow so we need a composter we have some oak fence gates and we need a grindstone and luckily enough we have a few grindstones in this house here which we well, everything is gonna have to be redone eventually but check it out we're just gonna grab one of the grindstones I'm pretty sure it's not the end of the world uh, that we took one of them so yeah let's go ahead over to where I want to put the wheelbarrow is going to be up here right in the front. So essentially what you want to do is you want to have the uh, composter. Let's see. Let's just make sure this is in the right area. Composter right over here. Then a gate like this. And then you want to have the grindstone right in the front like that. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to put it away the other way around. So like something like that. There we go. So that is our wheelbarrow. This is a design that's been used by a lot of YouTubers and a lot of builders. Uh, definitely not something that I created, but I think it looks absolutely perfect for a wheelbarrow. Um, especially for the entrance of the farm, and I really do like the design. So let me know in the comment section what you think of the farm and the enchantment table. I know we've done a lot of things in today's episode, and I'm really, really happy with the way everything is turning out so far in this world. We have a lot of things to do, so make sure if you guys are new... Oh, wait, is this villager making friends with Hunter? Oh, I don't know. He just wants to jump on the bed, I guess. Hunter, where are you going, Hunter? Come back here. Just sit there for a minute. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, guys, that's going to conclude today's episode. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button and hit the notification bell. I really do appreciate it. And stay tuned for a lot more Survival Let's Plays. Check out the playlist. It's all on the screen. So click that little notification tab at the top corner if you want to catch up with the series. Without further ado, guys, thanks again for watching. My name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy.